students today we will going to see about the third term portions in biology unit 5 animals in daily life the in lower classes we have already studied the how the plants are useful to us the plants are used as the leaves as food then a bulb stem each and every part of the plant parts are used as food for human beings and also cattle understand now we are going to see about the animals in what way they are useful to us even though the animals are closely associated with our daily life understand so the animals are great gift of nature and also animals contribute many things to use as food clothing and transportation so main is food clothing and transportation understand now we are going to see about how the animals products animals and animal products used as food now we will going to see about the animal products used as food in what way understand first one is the milk what is called the milk the milk is secreted by mammary glands of all mammals it is nothing but a white liquid and it also called as wholesome food wholesome food means mulume avanu namakku edume wastage undu adala kedaiyad we are called as wholesome food so the milk is generally rich with protein and calcium rich with protein and calcium it is a the milk is also the primary nutrition for all infant in mammals understand so we milk daily in the milk is the basic needs used as daily understand and it also it is a essential product milk is the essential product we are obtained from mainly cows buffaloes camels and uh, goats understand so these are the main source of milk we are getting so the milk is the especially milk is essential for the infant infant in human understand it is a very important one and it's also milk is necessary for daily to prepare that is tea coffee ice cream chocolates sweets and other related products milk is very very essential then highly recommended nutritive food which contains protein and calcium protein and calcium understand calcium are made from so uh, milk from paneer butter cheese cream ghee and also they are based on protein even though they are containing fat content but the protein based product are made from the milk understand then <coughs> second product is egg egg is also very important one understand so the egg is also contains high amount of protein and the egg is almost laid by all birds you know like um, hen turkey crow uh, then ostrich all birds all birds are lays egg ones for their producing their young ones for producing young ones and also the egg content they are having two parts that is weight of the egg weight of the egg then this is the yolk so the weight of the egg is nothing but the albumin it is called as albumin yolk is the yellow in color so the weight of the egg is rich with protein and also the yolk is rich with fat yolk is rich with fat understand so albumin is rich with protein as well as the yolk is and the yellow is contains large amount of fat content understand so the yolk gives nourishment to the developing young ones developing young ones understand then they are used as daily for energy we take the egg one egg for daily to gives us energy and also gives good health and also the egg is highly nutritious because it contains protein in the high amount 
then egg have 6 gram of high quality protein 6 grams of high quality protein understand so a protein rich with egg we take included in breakfast suppose we are uh, growing in well uh, in physical as well as mental understand consuming egg daily is very very essential so don't bother about the age understand so according to health according to sorry world health organization who per year a child take nearly about 260 eggs per year per year understand then another one more one more is nothing but honey do you know honey how the honey is produced the honey is produced that is the insects absorb the nectar from the flower and the nectar is converted into honey by means of the insects understand so the honey is also having a major nutritive value as well as medicinal value understand so it is a sweet liquid produced by insects not by flowers not the flowers only producing the nectar the nectar is converted into honey by means of the insects understand then it is extracted so the honey is extracted by tribals tribals and the palangudi nar undu romba easy ah honey pick up pannikonga so what are the medicinal values medicinal values of the honey it is used as antioxidant antioxidant and also antibacterial and antibacterial and also antifungal antifungal understand so antioxidant antibacterial and antifungal and it cure the wound that is healing the wounds healing the wounds then very important one it recover from the indigestion in infant that is baby baby ku vandu namm vandu digestion aagalena konja onnu oru sanga thena kuduthamne easily digested understand and also it cures sore throat sore throat thondaiyila punnu irundhaana thena saaptamna recover aagum understand thank you students